Hey there, Lauren Center here. So I just finished making another one of my little mini documentary things about exercise and how it can help your anxiety and also depression. I got my first gym membership when I was like 14 years old and me and my best friend started going to the gym together all the time. I never really liked it. It always felt like something I had to do because it was going to keep me fit and keep me looking good. And sometimes that wasn't enough to get me to get me to go to the gym. And so what I started realizing was that after I did work out, I was always happier. I always had a lot more energy. And also my anxiety was better. And so with just a little bit of research, some Google searches, I found that studies actually show that exercise um, is more beneficial to helping your anxiety and depression than medication in a lot, a lot of studies. Um, so I've experienced that firsthand and it's always been much easier for me to go to the gym when I know that afterwards I'm going to be in a better mood and I'm going to be happier and have more energy than just going because I want to be able to buy smaller clothes. So I feel like it's really important to share this information with you. Um, I hope you like it. Like and share it if you think it should be liked and shared. And uh, thanks for paying attention to me. I know how important your time is. Have a good day. Most people exercise because they are trying to achieve a flatter stomach or bigger arm muscles, but there are lots of other reasons to work out. It increases your energy levels, helps your memory, reduces your risk of chronic disease, among other things, including raising your serotonin levels. Serotonin is a chemical in the brain thought to regulate anxiety, happiness, and mood. People suffering from anxiety are often prescribed a type of medication called SSRIs, which are meant to regulate a person's serotonin levels, just like exercise does naturally. Many studies have shown that exercise is as good as, or better, than drugs alone for treating both anxiety and depression. And the only side effect from exercise might be a smaller bathing suit size next summer. I myself was prescribed the SSRI citalopram and took it for about six months without seeing any notable improvements. I started to exercise and experience the benefits immediately. Another thing exercise can do is to help you associate the symptoms of anxiety such as rapid heart rate and sweating with the runner's high you get from vigorous exercise, potentially lowering the risk of having a panic attack. Any kind of cardio that gets your heart rate up is great for anxiety, and studies have shown that people who practice yoga experience significant reductions in depression, anxiety, and neurotic symptoms as well. Still, your exercise session doesn't have to be so structured. You could just go for a walk or play with your dog or kid at the park, and that will help also. I have to remind you that I'm not a doctor, and if you're already taking medication for anxiety or depression, it can be very dangerous to stop abruptly. Please talk to your doctor before starting or stopping anything. If you'd like to learn more ways to reduce anxiety to depression, please feel free to message me. Here are all the places you can find me. Thanks for watching.